Are you guys ready for this? Come on, louder. They can hear you. That's what I'm talking about. That's a Seattle welcome. All right. Well, how many of you were there last night to hear these guys? All right. The rest of you, prepare to have your mind blown. For those of you that were here last night, I'm giving pretty much the same intro, so don't yell at me. <laughs> no booing. All right. First up. We're going to bring out a gentleman who has been doing voices as long as anyone, and I know he loves to hear that. He was one of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He was Raphael. He's going to be Donatello the next time around, coming soon. Yakko, Pinky, Mr. Rob Paulson, let's hear it. Next up, we have a gentleman. He was in the original Inspector Gadget in Transformers TV shows. He does so many voices on Futurama, we won't list them. He is the brain, Maurice LaMarche. I knew you'd like that. Uh, Thank you. Time, you know. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. Next up is everybody's favorite rug rat, My Little Pony. Where are the bronies? She's Batgirl. She's Bubbles from the Powderpuff Girls. Tara Strong. Next up, we have, let's see, who do we want to bring out next? Let's bring out one of my personal, one of my best friends. This is an honor to introduce. He is a transformer. He's Ironhide. He's in Pixar movies. He's Captain Hero. He's Wacko. He's in a band called Rock Sugar. Check it out, Mr. Jess Harnell. Next up, we will not read all his credits. We'd be here for the full two hours. We'll just comment on Crank Yankers, Fry, Futurama, Ren and Stimpy, Mr. Billy West. Next up, he's in the Boondocks, Ultimate Spider-Man, Adventure Time. Bender from Futurama, John DiMaggio. Oh, come on, stand up for Christ's sake. Just stay on your feet, because next and not last by any means, he's been in TV in the office. He's been on one of my favorites, Cheers. He's in Venture Brothers. He's also that guy you all know as Batman, Kevin Conroy. Batman, damn it. That's cool. <laughs> All right, the way this is working tonight was just like last night. We have the script of Star Wars. We are going to run through the script. We are going to change characters frequently every couple of pages here. And they are going to do different characters from throughout their careers and impressions. If you want to hear a specific one, yell. I'm going to give you choices here and there. Otherwise, we're just going to assign them. 
the best part of the night and your very special narrator for the evening. Batman is the narrator wow. for the evening, folks. That's a flat. All right. I don't know. I don't and he's expensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, sir. Opening crawl. Who's, who's here? <laughs> How do you know what it is a period of civil war. Rebel spaceships, striking from a hidden base, have won their first victory against the evil Galactic Empire. During the battle, rebel spies managed to steal secret plans to the Empire's ultimate weapon, the Darth, the Death Star. An armored space station with enough power to destroy an entire planet. Pursued by the Empire's sinister agents, Princess Leia races home aboard her starship, custodian of the stolen plans that can save her people and restore freedom for the galaxy. Freedom. Freedom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All right, first off, we are gonna start <laughs> with Darth Vader. It's going to be played by Tara Strong as Bubbles. Oh, wow! The Stormtrooper will be played by Pinky. Oh, wow. Arr! The Captain will be played by Jess Harnell as Adam West. Oh, okay. The, the Batman? And Princess Leia will be played by John DiMaggio as Jake. Whoa. Whoa. And scene. We intercepted no transmissions, Robin. This is a consular ship. We're on a diplomatic miss. Gah. Commander, tear this ship up apart until you found those plans and bring me the passengers. I want them. Excuse me, Lord Vader, but, um... <laughs> you all have such good taste. <laughs> Excuse me, Lord Vader, but we have a prisoner! Darth Vader! Only you could be so bold. The Imperial Senate will not sit for this. <laughs> that was a fart. <laughs> when they hear you've attacked a, attacked a diplomatic... Don't act surprised, Your Highness. You weren't on any mercy mission this time. Several transmissions were beamed to the ship by rebel spies. I want to know what happened to the plans they sent you. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. <laughs> you are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away! <laughs> nice. And scene. All right, next scene. We are having Maurice LaMarche as William Shatner play C-3PO. Wow. <laughs> and Jess Harnell as Christopher Walken play R2-D2. Oh, wow. oh, that's good, that's good. And then we will have anyone who wants to jump in as the Jawa, since there are only two lines. So everybody can just jump in and go crazy on that one. Exterior desert. Meanwhile, on the desert planet below. How did we get into this mess? I really don't know how. We seem to be made to suffer. It's a lot in life. Wow, blip. 
<laughs> whistle buzz. <laughs> whistle, wow. <laughs> This. This. Wow. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I've got to rest before I fall apart. My joints are almost frozen. <laughs> what a desolate place this is. <laughs> bleep. Beep, bleep, beep. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what mission? What are you talking about? I've had just about enough of you. You go that way. You'll be malfunctioning within a day. You nearsighted crap pile. I'm uh, sorry, scrap pile. <laughs> That's what happens when I try to be off book. And don't let me catch you following me begging for help because you won't get it, mister. Whistle, wow. <laughs> no more adventures, Mr. Spock. I'm not going that way. <clears throat> that malfunctioning little twerp, this is all his fault. He tricked me into going this way. He'll do no better over there. Wait, what's that? A transport? I'm saved. <laughs> over here. Hey! <laughs> hey! <clears throat> Please help. <clears throat> Meanwhile, in a canyon not far away. Wow, you guys beep, whistle, buzz. <clears throat> <clears throat> beep, boop, whistle, ah. Crash! Utini, George <laughs> Lucas, Ungawa. <laughs> and scene. Very nice, Mo. I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> All right, in the next bit, we are going to have Owen, played by Stimpy, Billy West. Baru will be Ironhide. Oh, good. Luke will be Toot from Drawn Together. Oh, sweet. And C3PO, any suggestions? George Lucas. C3PO will be played by George Takai. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Takai. Takai. Let's call the whole thing off, shall we? And for the Jawas, we'll have John continue on. Which, I'm sorry, we, uh, or Billy, sorry. I'll know. do, I'll we'll do. We'll have John do the Jawa. I'll do the Jawa as uh, schnitzel. <clears throat> there we go. And scene. Inside the sand crawler, the Jawas prepare for a sail. We've stopped. R2-D2, wake up, wake up. Rada, 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 rada. <laughs> rada. We're doomed. You think they'll melt us down? <laughs> Rather. <laughs> don't shoot. Uh, don't shoot. Will this never end? All right, all right. First, I gotta find a place to go to the bathroom, and then I can continue. <laughs> all right, fine. Let's go. Luke. Luke. Tell your uncle, if he gets a translator, be sure it speaks bocce. <laughs> toot, tooty, toot. Doesn't look like we have much of a choice, but I'll remind him. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll take that red one. No, no, wait. Joy, not that one. Wrong one. I suppose you're programmed for etiquette and protocol. <laughs> Protocol? Why, it's my primary function, sir. I'm well versed in all of the customs. I'm oh, my. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have no need for a protocol droid. 
Of course you haven't, sir. Not in an environment such as this. That is why I've also been programmed. What I really need is a droid who understands the binary language of moisture vaporators. Ooh. <laughs> vaporators, sir. My first job was programming binary load lifters, very similar to your vaporators in most respects, except for warp factor five, sir. <laughs> hey, C-3PO, can you speak bocce? <laughs> Of course I can, sir. It's like a second language for me. In fact, I have a copy of Hooked on Bocce in my droid pack. All right, all right, all right. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, I tell you. I'll take this one. Shutting up, sir. <laughs> Puke. I mean, Luke. Blah! <laughs> 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 Sorry. Luke, uh, take us. <laughs> Take these two over to the garage, will you? I want them cleaned up before dinner. <laughs> Where do you want it? Where do you want it? <laughs> but I was going to Tosh Station to pick up some power converters. You can waste your time with your friends when your chores are done. Now, come on, get to it. Toot toot! All right, come on. And the red one? Come on. Well, come on, red, give it to me! <laughs> Yeah. Let's go! Oh, it's me again. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Owen, this R2 unit has a bad motivator look. Hey, what are you trying to push <clears throat> on us? Um, excuse me, sir, but that R2 unit is in prime condition. A real bargain. Hey, what about the blue one? Ooh, ooh, ooh! We'll take that one. Yeah, take it this way! <laughs> what a disturbed little girl you are. <laughs> I'm quite sure you'll be very pleased with that one, sir. He really is in first-class condition. I've worked with him before. Here he comes. Okay! R2, don't you forget this. Why should I stick my neck out for you is quite beyond my capacity. Wow, beep, whistle, buzz. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> okay, the next scene, we are switching up. C3PO will be Paul Buttram. Mr. Oh, Pat, I mean, Pat Butcher. Pat, yeah, Pat. Him yeah, too. Mr. We'll bring him Haney. Too. I think that would work just fine. That'll be C3PO. Luke will be played by Bender. All right. All right. Princess Leia will be played by Jay Leno. Uh oh. Billy West. And R2D2 will be Morbo. <clears throat> nice. And scene. Later that night, in the homestead's garage. Thank the maker. This oil bath is gonna feel so good. Man, I got such a bad case of dust contamination, I can barely move. It just isn't fair. Oh, Biggs is right. I'm never gonna get out of here. <laughs> Is there anything I might do to help? Well, not unless you can alter time, speed up the harvest, or teleport me off this rock. Mm, I don't think so, sir. I'm only a droid and not very knowledgeable about such things, not on this planet anyways, but as a matter of fact, I ain't even sure which planet I'm on. Well, if there's a bright center of the universe, you're on the planet that it's farthest from. I see, sir. Uh, you can call me Luke. I see, sir, Luke. <laughs> Just Luke, jerk. <laughs> oh, and I'm C-3PO, human cyborg relations, and this here is my counterpart, R2-D2. What's up, robot? Beep! Beep, beep, 
I will destroy you. <laughs> Ooh, take it easy. Jeez. Have a beer. <laughs> you got a lot of carbon scoring here. Looks like you boys have seen a lot of action. Yeah, well, with all we've been through, sometimes I'm amazed we're in as good a condition as we are, what with the rebellion and all. You know of the rebellion against the Empire? Hell, man, that's how we come to be in your service. If and you take my meaning, sir. Have you been in many battles? Son, you're as full of shit as a Christmas goose. Yay! I didn't know we could say shit. <laughs> Several, shit, I shit, think. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. I think Star Wars is shit. <laughs> oh, boo! Blow that to your ass. <laughs> That's what y'all call poetic license. Uh, in terms of battles, several, I think. Actually, there's not much to tell. I ain't much more than an interpreter and not a very good at telling stories. And I ain't not making them interesting anyway. Well, I'm a little friend. You got something jammed in here real good. Were you on a star cruiser or... And scene. All right. All right. That's where Princess Leia comes in. <laughs> All right, next scene, real quick, we're switching up. We have Luke as Rob's version of Christopher Walken. Okay. We have R2-D2 played by Ozzy Osbourne. Nice. Oh, C-3PO will be Johnny Carson. Whoa. I, uh, oh, and Princess is. Leia will be played by Vincent Price. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. Wait a minute. What's this? <laughs> Where are we? Wait, wait. Oh, my Did we jump or are we picking up where we left off? <laughs> right where we left off. What was Back that? Oh, well, Bottom excuse the hell out of me. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Oh, right here? Yeah, there okay. Is. Well, my little friend, you got something jammed in here real good. Were you on a star cruiser or a... Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> You're my only hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's this? Uh, burp, beep. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what is what? Yeah, he, he asked you a question. What is that? Uh, it's beep, beep, it's a Sharon! Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, man. You're my only hope. <laughs> Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> oh, my. Wow, wow that, that is wild stuff right there. That is wild, <laughs> wild stuff. Oh, he, he says it's nothing, sir. It's, it's a, uh, it is merely, it is merely a malfunction. Old data, uh, pay it no mind. Tell me, <clears throat> who is she? She's beautiful. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm afraid. Um, Ed? Ed, I'm not quite sure. I <laughs> Ed, who is that? I don't know, but thou art truly wise. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think she was a passenger on our last voyage. A, um, a person of some importance. A person of some importance, sir, I believe. I believe um, our captain was attached to... Uh... Is there more to this recording? Walk! Bleep! All right, be behave yourself, R2. You're going you're gonna to get us into trouble now with the sensors here. It's all right. You, you, can, you can trust him. He is, our, he is our new master. He was turned to steel in the gray magnets. I'm sorry. <laughs> Boopy zip zip! He's, he's, he said, he says, also on tonight's show, we have, we have uh, Black Sabbath is here tonight. <laughs> also, he says the property of a, a certain Obi-Wan Kenobi, a resident of these parts, and it's, it's a private message for him. Quite frankly, sir, I don't know what he's talking about. Our, 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 our last master uh, was a Captain Antilles. Yes, but 
with what we've been through, and this little R2 unit has, has become a, a, a bit eccentric. Ed? Obi-Wan Kenobi? <laughs> oh, wait, I read that wrong. It's Kenobi. <laughs> I wonder if he means old Ben Kenobi. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon, sir, but do you, do you know what he is talking about right here? And scene. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, switching it up. Next, we will have R2-D2, played by Bill Cosby. <laughs> yes. C-3PO is going to be Fry. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And Baru will be played by Twilight Sparkle. Luke will be paid by Pinky. And Princess Leia will be the brain. <laughs> and scene. Did you say Lucas Bluefish? Okay, all right, it's me, I'm on. <clears throat> well, I don't know anyone named Obi-Wan, but old Ben lives out beyond the Dune Sea. He's kind of a strange old hermit, really. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> You're my only hope to get away from this boob known as Pinky. <laughs> I wonder who she is. Sounds like she's in trouble. I better play back the whole thing. Beep, a deep, a deep, a weep deep. <laughs> <laughs> He says the restraining ball has short-circuited his recording system. He suggests that if you remove the ball, he suggests a lot of things. He might be able to play back the entire recording. Hmm. Oh, yeah, well, I guess you're too small to run away on me if I take this off. You're my only hope to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Hey, wait a minute, where'd she go? Bring her back, play back the entire message. Beep, beep a deep those eyes about jello pudding. <laughs> ah -ha -ha. <laughs> what message? The one you've just been playing. So you're the one carrying inside of your rusty innards. Luke, Luke? All right, I'll be right there, Aunt Beiru. Nerf! <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but when I went to school, comedy had a beginning and a middle and an end. <laughs> and there has to be a payoff. But in case... All right. <laughs> what, I can't even say iambic pentameter. <laughs> there, see? Where am I? I don't know. No, I don't think he likes you at all. Beep the deep sea, and I'm the beep the deep, gobble, hobble, and beep. Oh. Sorry. There you go. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I don't like you either, either. Oh, beep, deep, deep, deep. And sing. <laughs> Honest to God, I gotta get honest here, you know? All right, jumping right back in. The next scene, Owen, will be played by Aquaman. <laughs> okay, C-3PO no. will be Raven. All right. And Luke will be played by Zoidberg. Oh, no. All right. All right. And... Wait, which, which scene? We're on page 11. Page 11. Uh -huh. Lars uh -huh. Dining Room. Uh -huh. As Batman That's will tell 10? you shortly. 10? The Lars Dining Sorry, Room? Sorry, page 10. Okay. And who am I playing? You, you are my playing schizophrenia Aquaman just kicked as out. Owen. Okay, got it. My sister, my daughter, my sister, my daughter. The, <laughs> okay. the Lars family settles in for the evening. For dinner. <laughs> you know, I <laughs> think that... What? Who's, is that me echoing? That's yeah. Jesus Christ. It's awesome. It sounds like a rock show. All right. You know, I think that um, R2-D2 unit we bought might have been stolen. 
What makes you think that? Well, it so happens that I stumbled across a recording while I was cleaning him. What a job that was. <laughs> Oi, he says he belongs to someone called Obi-Wan Kenobi. I thought he might have meant old Ben. Do you know what he's talking about? Because Zochem Vey, I don't. <laughs> that wizard's just a crazy old man. Tomorrow, I want to take you that R2 unit into Anchorhead and have its memory. That'll be the end of it. It belongs to us now. <laughs> But Owen, Owen, what if, what if this Obi-Wan comes looking for him? <laughs> looking? Looking. <laughs> Look, you talk whatever way you want. I talk this way because, listen. <laughs> Fine with me, Lobster Man. <laughs> as long as you remember who the king of the sea is. <laughs> I don't want to bring out a whale to whoop your ass. <laughs> <clears throat> I know him. I know him. He won't. That was a nice cackle. Thank you, lady. <laughs> he won't. I don't think he exists anymore. He died about the same time as your father. He knew my papa? <laughs> I told you to forget it. Your only concern, concern? What the hell is concern? There's an N in there I missed. Hello, N. Yeah, oh man. I'll warm up to it, just hold on. I told you to forget it. Your only concern is to prepare the new droids for tomorrow. In the morning, I want them on the South Ridge Working on those condensers! Cratch, cratch, cratch. <laughs> Later, in the garage. Ew. What are you doing from hiding back there? It wasn't my fault, sir. Please don't deactivate me. I told him not to go. But he's faulty, malfunctioning. He kept babbling on about... Azeroth, Metrion, Synthos. <laughs> oh no, I said. <laughs> that R2 unit has always been a problem. These asteroids are getting quite out of hand. Even I can understand their logic at times. Oy vey, how could I be so Meshurgana? <laughs> He's nowhere in sight, blasted already. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, but couldn't we go after him? No, it's too dangerous with all the sand people around. We'll have to wait until morning. Who are you calling sand people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm just saying, man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Luke, I'm shutting the power down. All right, good. I'll be there in a few minutes. Why am I gonna get it? I knew I shouldn't have taken off my shell this morning. <laughs> you know that little droid is going to cause me a lot of trouble. Oh, he excels at that, sir. Come on, come on. <laughs> and scene. You know, when I went to school, comedy... <clears throat> All right. Next scene, rolling along, we are gonna have Tuscan Raider, played by Carl Weezer. Okay. R2-D2 will be played by Marlon, Nemo's dad. Oh. I love that Luke is going to be played by Captain Hero. C-3PO is Dudley Moore. And Obi-Wan Kenobi will be Tracy Morgan. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> and scene. Luke and C-3PO race across the desert in Luke's land speeder. Oh, look, there's a droid on the scanner. Dead ahead. It might be our little R2 unit. Hit the accelerator! They catch up to R2-D2 in the bottom of a canyon. Hey, whoa, just where do you think you're going? I'm trying to find my son. He's lost in the bottom of the ocean. Nemo! 
Master Luke is your rightful owner now. <laughs> <laughs> we have no more of this Obi Wan Kenobi gibberish. <laughs> and don't talk to me of your mission either. Your fortune doesn't blast you into a million pieces right here. No, it's all right, friend. I think we'd better go. Wee, 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 Nemo! <laughs> now, what's wrong with him now? Uh, it appears there are several large creatures approaching from the southeast. <laughs> Sand people? Like John DiMaggio? <laughs> Come on, let's go have a look. Come on! <laughs> well, there are two banthas down there, but I don't see any... Ooh, wait a second. There's sand people, all right. I can see one of them now. I'm a Tuscan Raider. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> arr, ooh. A Tuscan Raider clubs Luke. The sand people take the opportunity to begin raiding the land people but flee when they hear the roar of a deadly crate dragon. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Come here, my little friend. <laughs> They're gone for now. Oh, don't worry, he'll be all right. <laughs> that motherfucker's from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for real, though, that's true. <sighs> he'll be all right. Rest easy, Luke, you had a busy day. <laughs> you are fortunate to all be in one piece. Black? Black Kenobi? Boy, am I glad to see you. <laughs> the dirt land waste are not to be traveled lightly. <laughs> Tell me, young Luke, what brings you out this far? I'm looking for a 12-year-old girl and a donkey. And this little droid. I think he's searching for his former master, but I've never seen such devotion in a droid before. He claims to be the property of an Obi-Wan Kenobi. Tell me, is he a relative of yours? Do you know who he's talking about? No, but I got a cousin named Tyrone from Queens. <laughs> he an alcoholic. <laughs> what, like you don't have one in your family? <laughs> Crackers. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan, now that's a name I've not heard a long time. That's a long time since I heard that. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think my uncle knows him. He said he was <gasps> dead. <laughs> oh, he's not dead. Or not yet. Tell me, friend, you know him? Well, of course I know him. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you the truth right here. <laughs> that's for real, though. You can ask my cousin from Queens. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's true, though. It's universal. <laughs> so you're saying the droid does belong to you? Yeah, but I'm, I'm telling you. Hey, hold up now. Let me turn the page on this. <laughs> Shit. I don't seem to remember ever owning the droid. They're very interesting. I think we better get indoors because those sand people are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard they're from Detroit. <laughs> Yo, that, don't mess with people from Detroit, man. <laughs> they kick you right in the nuts and run. Oh, that oh. shit is cold blooded. Oh no, oh no, 3PO. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh yeah, Hedge. Where am I? I fell out of the goddamn car. <laughs> I fell out of the goddamn car, Mr. Tech, every bad step. Well, Fribio, can you stand? We've got to get out of here before the sand people return. Oh, I don't think I can make it. You go on, Master Luke, and take, take Russell Brand with you. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> There's no sense of you risking yourself on my account. I, I'm done for. No, don't say that, for you are the wind beneath my wings. What kind of talk is that? Yo, they, here come that motherfuckers right now. <laughs> Listen to the black guy. Let's go. And scene. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Next scene. Luke will be played by the professor in Futurama. Oh, no. Princess Leia will be played by Rosie Perez. <laughs> and Obi-Wan Kenobi shall be played by Cartman. Oh, sweet. <laughs> and scene. 
Luke and the droids travel back with Obi-Wan to his home. I'm sorry, but can I do um, Kathy Griffin instead? <laughs> no, my father didn't fight in the wars. He was a navigator and a space freighter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your uncle told you, you guys. He didn't have to stay with your father's ideas. He thought he should have stayed here and not gotten in there. <laughs> you fought in the Clone Wars? Yeah, I said, screw you clowns, and I kicked him right in the nuts. I was a Jedi Knight, the same as your father. Oh, I wish I'd known him. Yeah, he was totally sweet, you guys. He was at like, the best star pilot in the galaxy, and a cunning warrior. I understand you become quite a good pilot yourself. And he was a good friend. He was like, come sailing away. Ah. Wait. Which reminds me, I have something here for you. Your father wanted you to have this when you were like old enough and stuff, but your uncle wouldn't allow it. He figured you might follow old Obi-Wan or some damn fool idealist at Crusade like your father did. <laughs> Oh, I gotta say more stuff. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Damn, this guy says a lot of words. Um, <laughs> this is, thank you. Thank God helps a lot, you guys. Tell me, sweet. This is your father's lightsaber, the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Seriously. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. When you have this in your hands, you'll be all like, respect my authority. An elegant weapon for a more civilized day. For over a thousand generations, the Jedi Knights were the guardians of peace and justice in the other public before the dark time, before the Empire. <laughs> Sweet! By the way, how did that old bastard, I mean my father, die? Well, I know it wasn't that black guy, Tracy Morgan. It was a young Jedi named Darth Vader who was like a pupil of mine until he turned to evil and helped the Empire hunt down and destroy the Jedi Knights, you know. And he betrayed and murdered your father. Now the Jedi all but extinct Vader was seduced by the dark side of the Force and now he's all like, ooh, I'm scary, you guys! Ihwal? Yeah, yeah, the first. The, the, yeah, the first is like totally what gives the Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us, but not like an anal probe, you know. It, <laughs> it, it, it binds the galaxy together. Now, let's see if we can't figure out what you are, my little friend, and where you can't be. <laughs> <laughs> I saw part of the message he was. I, I seem to have found it. Kick ass! Nice. General Kenobi, years ago, you served my father in the Clone Wars? <laughs> as soon as I said I love you, infinity plus infinity. Now he begs you to help him in his struggle against the Empire. I regret that I'm unable to present my father's request to you in person, but my ship has fallen under attack and I'm afraid my mission to bring you all to Alderaan has failed. I have placed information vital to the survival of the rebellion, Mookie, into the memory systems of Abyss R2 unit. My father will know how to retrieve it. You see this droid safely <laughs> delivered to him on Alderaan. This is, this is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Wow, you guys, that Jennifer Lopez talks a lot. <laughs> you must learn the ways of the force if you could come with me to Alderaan. <laughs> Alderaan? I'm not going to Alderaan. I've got to get home. It's late, and I'm in for it as it is. Why, is your mom totally like a bitch, too? <laughs> I need your help, Luke. She needs your help. I'm getting too old for this sort of thing. I'm like, like 11 years old. I can't get involved. I can't get involved. Whoa. I've got work to do. It's not that I like the Empire. I hate it. But there's nothing I can do about it right now because I'm a bag of dust. <laughs> <laughs> now that's your uncle talking, totally. Oh boy, my uncle. How am I ever going to explain this? <sighs> Learn about the first year. In the wall. <laughs> Look, I can take you as far as Anchorhead. You can get a transport there and dress up as a woman and stand in the Jersey Tunnel and thumb the rest of the way. <laughs> the Lincoln Tunnel. Eh, that sounds kind of sweet. You gotta do whatever you feel is right, of course. And scene. <laughs> Yep. Tunnel bunnies.
Right? All right, next scene, we have Tag, played by Yakko. Okay. Maudie, played by Wacko. Tarkin, played by Calculon. We have a Stormtrooper, played by, we'll bring Bender back. Aww. Luke will be played by Kramer. Darth Vader will be played by Princess Clara. Oh, cool. And we have Obi-Wan. Who wants to play Obi-Wan? Any suggestions? <laughs> and we will have Porky Pig playing Obi-Wan Kenobi. All right. Okay. Okay. So which one? Wait. Oh, I'm the Stormtrooper, right? Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, this. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. And scene. Aboard the Death Star, military commanders have gathered. Until this battle station is fully operational, we are vulnerable. The Rebel Alliance is too well-equipped. They're more dangerous than you realize. Dangerous to your Starfleet, Commander, not to this battle station. The <laughs> Reunited, and it feels so good. Attaboy. <laughs> I'm still the only one that wears pants in this whole damn show. <clears throat> Here we go. The rebellion will continue to gain support in the Imperial Senate as long as... The Imperial Senate will no longer be of any concern to us. I've just received word that I've won another Emmy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That the Emperor has dissolved the Council permanently. The last remnants of the Old Republic have been swept away. That's impossible. How will the Emperor maintain control without the bureaucracy? The regional governors now have direct control over their territories. Fear will keep the local systems in line. Fear of this battle station and of my unholy acting talent! <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and what of the rebellion? If the rebels have obtained a complete technical readout of this station, it is possible, however unlikely, that they might find a weakness and exploit it. The plans you refer to will soon be back in our octopus swat. Hands. <laughs> <laughs> Any attack made by the rebels against this station would be a useless gesture, no matter what technical data they've obtained. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe, and I suggest we use it before I have a potty emergency. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy this planet is, ne ne is insignificant next to the power of that black chick's tongue. <laughs> or the force. Well, wow, all I can say is, hello, Vader. Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways. Your sad devotion to that ancient religion like Scientology has not helped you conjure up the stolen data tapes or given you clairvoyance enough to find the rebel's hidden fort. It must have been a Scientology joke. I find your lack of faith disturbing. You must be friends with the black man. <laughs> Shut up, honky. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this! That was my dramatic pause. <laughs> Vader, release him. As you wish. This bickering is pointless. Now, Lord Vader will provide us with the location of the Rebel Fortress by the time all my circuits airs. <laughs> or this station is operational. We'll then crush the rebellion with one swift stroke! <laughs> On Tatooine, <laughs> Luke and Obi-Wan Kenobi are searching through the wreckage and debris of an attack on the Jawa's sand crawler. Oh yeah, Jerry. <laughs> it looks like the sand people did this all right. Oh yeah. There's the gaffy sticks, the bantha tracks, it's just... I've never heard of them hitting anything this big before! <laughs> Very nice. Can we You're play? Cubans, Obi Wan. <clears throat> they, 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 never happened. <laughs> but we 
we are meet, 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 meant to think like they do. Skip it. <laughs> These tracks were signed. Yeah, see, uh, see, uh, see, uh, see, uh, it was there. Sand people always be able to ride single file to hide their their peer group. <laughs> yo, yo, ma. These are the same Jawas that sold us R2 and 3PO. And get the and blast these points. Too accurate for sand people. <laughs> Only in people uh, uh, tacit. Stormtroopers <laughs> are so <laughs> people uh, uh, they're right on the uh, money. Why would Imperial troops want to slaughter Jawas? If they trace the robots here, they may have learned they sold them to, and that would lead them to Jerry's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> We, uh, wait, Luke, it's too the uh, uh, too uh, 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 you'll get ki killed. <laughs> Uncle Owen, Aunt Brew. The, the, uh, there's nothing you could have done, uh, Luke, had you been uh, be, uh, be, uh, somewhere near. <laughs> You'd have been ki uh, ki uh, ki uh, the, uh, terminated, too, Disp uh, the, uh, the, uh, dispatched. And the droids would be in the, ha uh, the hands of the, uh, the, the Empire. <laughs> the, 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 damn it, I almost said shit, sh uh, sh uh, shit, uh, shit. <laughs> that just made my day. <laughs> she, uh, they're sure glad I didn't, st uh, st uh, st uh, you know, walk through it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to come with you to Alderaan, buddy boy. There's nothing for me here now. Even Newman's been turned to toast. <laughs> I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, come with me to my uh, my 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 Moss Isley, uh, Ernie Isley. <laughs> the lands people approaches the outskirts of a town. Stormtroopers are conducting vehicle searches. The most easily spaceport. You'll never find a more scummy hive of scum and villainy, bad stuff. We must be the use trepidation. How long do you have these droids? About three or four seasons. Well, they're up for sale if you if you want if you want take them. Let me see your identification. You don't need to see his identify license. You don't need to see his license. Bring it on. These are not your uh, droids you're looking for, uh, you've been seeking. These are not the droids you've been seeking. <laughs> <laughs> he can go on about his be uh, uh, be uh, 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 son of a be uh, bitch. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> we are there once again. Uh, uh, comedy is supposed to have a, begin a beginning, a mi <laughs> mi mi middle, and an end. Let's start in the ca uh, uh, the, ca uh, the, uh, the the Mexican place. <laughs> and scene. All right, we're in the cantina, the next group of characters. We have Obi-Wan, played by Inspector Gadget. Luke will be played by Rodney Dangerfield. All right, great. Han Solo will be played by Poof. Poof. <laughs> C-3PO, Mark Chang. Okay. The bartender will be George okay. from Seinfeld, All if that's right, okay. okay. Right. We have a Dr. Avizian, which is basically the guy in the bar, and we're going to let John do whatever he wants for him. Yes. Yes. And then we have the alien and Greedo, and we're going to let Billy West go crazy with both of those. Who's he? 
Alien and Greedo. Okay, good. They're both yours. Go crazy. John, you are Dr. Evizian or Evizan or whatever you want to say. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do him as Paul Lind. You guys remember <laughs> Paul Lind? The center, the center square <laughs> on, on the Hollywood squares. People. Uncle Arthur from Bewitch. Uncle Arthur, get off the roof. No. Okay, got it. Done, let's do it. And scene. We don't serve that kind here. Whoa, hey, hang on. What are you saying? Your droids, they left to wait outside. We don't want them here. <laughs> hey, listen, Trippio. Why don't you wait out by the speeder? We don't want any trouble. You know, I tell you, I'm in rough shape. Rough shape. I heartily agree with you, sir. I'll be back. I'm going to speak to that Wookiee over there. <laughs> he doesn't like you. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, well, who does? I tell you, I got no respect. No respect at all. I don't like you either. <laughs> you just watch yourself. We're wanted men. <laughs> I have the death sentence in 12 systems. <laughs> you people. Ah. Hey, oh, look out. I better be careful, you know. You'll be dead. This one's, this one's not worth the effort. Come, let me get you something. Go, go, gadget blender. Go, go, Gadget lightsaber. Wow. No blasters. No blasters, Jerry. Ow. I'm right-handed. Why? Ow. Uh, fine. Just pick up my arm and leave then. But that's incredibly rude. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> it's kind of cute. Beep, woo, buzz, guys. Yes, indeed. If it's a fast ship, <laughs> should I have? passengers, myself, the boy, two droids, and no questions asked. <laughs> Let's just say we'd like to avoid any imperial entanglements. And Dr. Claw. Oh, That's really good. <laughs> Oh, wait. Hang on a minute. 10,000? We could almost buy our own ship for that. Are you kidding? I've been told to do sparkle so I can talk. <laughs> but Princess Celestia, who's going to fly it? You? Hey, you bet I could. I'm not such a bad pilot myself, you know. I mean, we don't have to sit here and listen to this. We haven't got that much with us, but we could pay you 2,000 now, plus 15 when we reach Alderaan. Then I'll hit 99 up for a loan. <laughs> 17, huh? Okay, you guys got yourself a ship. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Docking Bay 94. 94? That's five less than 99. I should have waited <laughs> for this one to make my 99 jump. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, come along, Luke. Looks like somebody's beginning to take an interest in your handiwork. Chewie, Spike, Get back to the ship and get her ready. <laughs> wow. I had to do it too. <laughs> Everybody off together now. Yes, Greedo. As a matter of fact, I was just going to see your boss. Tell Princess Celestia I've got her money. Wait a minute. Can I do Tony Soprano? Sure. Yeah. All right, listen, it's too fucking late, okay? 
You should have paid him when you had the chance. Jabba's gonna put a price on your fucking head so large that every bounty hunter in the friggin' galaxy will be looking for you. I'm lucky I found you first. Yeah, but this time I got the money. <laughs> Look, Stonad, if you give it to me, I might forget that I found you. Well, I don't have it with me. Tell Jabba. Oh, Jabba, if the sound of each other, I don't know if dudes are gonna go get see Jabba. He's got nothing to do with you. He has no time for smugglers who drop their shipments at the first sign of an Imperial cruiser. Hey, Skip, I don't know. I don't know, Skip. <laughs> uh, your white walls are looking too good, Polly. Maybe I should send the kid out to get us some budget fresh. <laughs> Even I get boarded sometimes. <laughs> Remember, Pony wears the saddle. It's funny, I get bored at every now and then when I drink too much grappa. <laughs> you Do can you tell think I had a choice. Oh. I'm so sorry. Where the hell? Oh, you can tell I had the job of that fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, that fuck in the sweatsuit? He never takes the fucking thing off. He may only take your ship. Over my dead pony! That's the frickin' idea. I've been looking forward to killing you for a long time. Yes, I'll bet you have. Your favorite <coughs> student, Twilight Sparkle. Ooh, ooh, ow, you shot me first. Oh, ow. Oh, 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 Christ, Christ on crutches. I could raise my pistol and shoot at you. What do you think of that? <laughs> now I'm dead. And scene. I swore. Oh, yeah, sorry. Right. Don't worry about it. I had a swore. All right, next scene we have. We're going to bring C3PO, will be Baby Dill. Luke will be played by Jake the Dog. Han will be played by Kith. And Obi Wan will be Raphael. Okay. All right. And scene. Is that me? Oh, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> if the ship's as fast as he's boasting, we ought to do well, you tin-faced geek! <laughs> Look at it. What a piece of junk. Ugh. She'll make point five beyond the speed of light. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. I've added some special modifications myself. Now, we're a little rushed. Captain Brannigan needs his armpits shaved. <laughs> so, if you'll hurry aboard, we'll get out of here. Oh, my. Oh. That's me? Stop the ship. Guys, blast them. I came back. <laughs> Chewie, get us out of here. Oh, my. Oh, hi. Blue bean. I have forgotten how much I hate space travel. It looks like an Imperial cruiser, Chewie. Our passengers must be hotter than I thought. Try and hold them off. Angle the deflector shield while I make the calculations for the jump to light speed. Stay sharp. There are two more coming in. They're going to try to cut us off. Why don't you try and outrun them? I thought you said this thing was fast. Watch your mouth, kid, or you're going to find yourself floating home. We'll be safe enough once we make the jump to hyperspace. Oh, this feels so macho. <laughs> Besides, I know a few maneuvers. We'll lose them. Hey, uh, how, how long before you can make the jump to light speed? It'll take a few moments to get the coordinates from the Navi computer. Are you kidding? At the rate they're gaining? Traveling through hyperspace in like dusting crops, boy. Without precise calculations, we could fly right through a star or bounce too close to a supernova, and that'd end your trip real quick, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's that flashing? Oh, 
bollocks. We're losing our deflector shield. Go strap yourself in. I'm going to make the jump to light speed. And scene. All right. All right, next up, <laughs> Princess Leia. I think we should bring Bender back. Okay. Princess Leia, tag. We are going to have the bear from the Cleveland show here. Okay. All right. Tarkin will be played by Timmy Turner. Nice. Who do you want to have as Darth Vader? Yosemite Sam. Who does Yosemite? Right. Yosemite Sam shall be Darth Vader. No. Not no, all at like once. This. So thanks for the suggestions. They were great. All right. We're going to run with that one Wait, for this scene. Who am I doing again? Oh, Bender. Is that You're Princess Leia. Leia. Right, got it. Okay. Ready. Scene. The Millennium Falcon speeds away, while on the Death Star, Darth Vader and Grand Moff Tarkin are interrupted by an Imperial officer. Uh, her resistance to the mind probe is considerable. It'll be some time before we can extract any information from her or that rabbit. <laughs> Well, you know, the final checkout is complete. All systems are operational, Cleveland. What course shall we set? Well, perhaps you would respond to an alternative form of persuasion. What do you mean? We're close <laughs> enough to Alderaan. I think it's time we wish to demonstrate the full power of this station. Oh, that's excellent, you know. Oh, here come the troopers with the prisoner. Governor Tarkin, I should have expected you to find whatever, oh boy, <laughs> here it comes. I should have expected to find you holding Vader's leash. Look at my boobies. <laughs> Big old round boobies. Booby the boobies. I recognize your foul stench. When I was brought on board, stinky. Charming to the last. You don't know how hard I found at signing the order to terminate your life. I'm surprised you had the courage to take the responsibility, boobies, yourself. Princess Leia, before your execution, I would like you to be my guest at a ceremony that will make this battle station operational. Can I show my boobies? <laughs> no. No star system will dare oppose the Emperor now. Well, the more you tighten your grip, Tarkin, the more your star systems will slip through your fingers. You didn't say boobies. <laughs> well, you know, I was just, you know, I thought it was booby overkill. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Not after we demonstrate the power of the station. In a way, you have determined the choice of the planet that'll be destroyed first. Since you're reluctant to provide with us the location of the rebel base or the fairies, I have chosen to test this station's destructive power on your home planet of Alderaan. No! Man, Alderaan is peaceful. We have no weapons. Look at these boobies. <laughs> there they are. You can't possibly... Back to the boobies. <laughs> You would prefer another target, a military target? Then name the system. Don't say boobies. I grow tired of asking this, so it'll be the last time. I wish you'd tell me where the rebel base is. <laughs> Dan Tween. They're on Dan Tween. There. You see, Lord Vader? She can be reasonable and not say boobies. Continue with the operation. You may fire when ready. Titties! <laughs> yeah, I didn't say boobies. What? You're far too trusting. Dantooine is too remote to make an effective demonstration. But don't worry, we'll deal with your rebel friend soon enough. No!
and seen. <laughs> All right, we're winding down. We're gonna, I'm going to bring back some favorites for this next scene. All right. And then that might about, that just about might do it here. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to hear Bubbles? Which one? I, I, I hear a request for Zap Brannigan over there. Who's that? I'm going to take a nap. All right. Who's that request, John? I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> All right, we're going to bring back... Uh, Mr. William Shatner to play Luke. Tracy Morgan's coming back as Obi-Wan. That was a big hit. We're going to have uh, Christopher Walken come back as Han Solo. Okay. Fry as C-3PO. And I hear Harley Quinn is going to be R2-D2. <laughs> and... Do C3PO is Zap. Right? C3PO is who? Zap. Rewrite. Yes. Zap. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, C3PO is Zap. You got it. Right. C3PO is Zap. Here we go. Yes. Otherwise, this bit's going to lie here and die like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Chewbacca will be played by Jess. Okay. It's the hair, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and scene. Meanwhile, on board the Millennium Falcon. Are you. All right, then. What's wrong? I felt a great disturbance in the force. <laughs> it's like right here in my nuts. Jesus. It's as if millions of voices suddenly cried out of terror and were suddenly silenced. I feel something terrible has happened. <laughs> you better get on with your exercises, son. Well... You can forget your troubles with those imperial slugs. I told you, I'd outrun them. <laughs> Don't everyone thank me at once. Anyway, we should be out run at about, oh, 200 hours. <laughs> <laughs> now be careful there, playboy. <laughs> Bay, day, bay, pudding, deep, boop, beep. Yes! <laughs> How about that? Huh? He made a fair move. Screaming about it won't help you. <laughs> Let him have it. It's not wise to upset a Wookiee. But, sir, nobody worries about upsetting a droid. It's because droids don't pull people's arms out of the socket when they lose. You see, Wookiees are known to do that. I see your point, sir. I suggest a new strategy, R2. Let the Wookiee win. <laughs> Remember, Luke, a Jedi can feel the force flowing through him. It's mm -hmm. like when you drink a bottle of Mad Dog 2020. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> or soiree and brandy. You mean, it controls your actions? Well, partially. But it also obeys your commands. <laughs> Hockey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side, kid. <laughs> you don't. Believe in the force. Do you? <laughs> Can we get a seizure salad for this guy? <clears throat> Kid, I've flown from one side of this galaxy to the other. I've seen a lot of strange stuff, but I've never seen anything to make me believe there's a one all-powerful force controlling everything. You see, there's no mystical energy fields that control my destiny. It's all a lot of simple tricks and nonsense. <laughs> I suggest you try it again, Luke. <laughs> this time, you should let go of your conscious self and act on instinct. But with a blast shield down, I can't even see. How am I supposed to find it? 
<laughs> Yo, your eyes can deceive you. Don't be trusting them. <laughs> I'm telling you. You got to stretch out with your feelings, right? Mm. You see? <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I call it luck. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. Look, good going against remotes is one thing. Good going against the living is something else. Looks like we're coming up on all the ran. <laughs> you know, I did feel something. I felt that Han paused even more than I do. <laughs> I could almost see the remote. Stand by. Chewie, here we go. <laughs> Cut on the sublight engines, Chewie, baby, go, baby, go. <laughs> what the? Ah, oh, we've come out of hyperspace into a meteor shower. Some kind of asteroid collision. It's not on any of the charts. What's going on? <laughs> Our position is correct, except Mo. Alderan. What do you mean? Where is it? How the fuck should I know? It... <laughs> <laughs> the Pope is outer space. I look like Magellan. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm trying to tell you, kid. <laughs> it ain't there. It's been totally blown away. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> Destroy. By the empire. <laughs> them crazy crackers, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Motherfuckers be doing crazy shit. <laughs> it blew up a whole planet. That's cold blooded. <laughs> Are you through? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin lived on all the ride. Yeah. <laughs> That's cold blooded. I had him there. Uh -huh. He lived out by the junkyard. That motherfucker was crazy. Jeez. I think these people got to be home by Easter. The entire Starfleet couldn't destroy the whole planet. It'd take a thousand ships with more firepower than I've. There's another ship coming in. Maybe they know what happened. It's an Imperial fighter. It followed us. No, it's a short range fighter. Well, there aren't any bases around here. Where did it come from? Chewy, jam, it's transmissions. It'd be as well to let it go. It's too far out of range. Not for long. A fighter that size could get this deep into his own huh? <laughs> Man, I can't read this. I got that sugar. <laughs> A fighter that size, you got to know what that sugar is, don't you? <laughs> That's some crazy stuff. You lose your foot. <laughs> I had an uncle that lost a toe. Where the hell am I? <laughs> oh, here it is. A fighter that size couldn't get this deep into space on its own. It must have gotten lost. Being Bart, the convoy or something, he is headed for that small moon. All right. I think I can get him before he gets there. He's almost in range. That's no moon. That's a space station. <laughs> it's too big to be a space. Station. Mm -hmm. I have a very bad feeling about this. Yeah, I think you're right. Full reverse. Chewie locking that auxiliary power. Why are we still moving towards it like a rocket man? <laughs> <laughs> We're caught in a tractor beam. It's pulling us in. I think it's going to be long, <laughs> long time. But there's got to be something you can do. There's nothing I can do about it, kid. I'm in full power. But I need more cowbell. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm going to have to shut it down. But they're not going to get me without a fight. Wait, you can't win, but there are alternatives to fighting. 
and scene. All right. Did you have fun? Everybody.